Hello everyone and welcome to this a quick look at the art exhibit Reblink. My name is Kasanis. Guys, at the AGO is this new exhibit called Reblink. It's done by a an artist named Alex Mayhew, and basically what it is is an investigation of AR, of augmented reality. Basically, this artist has gone through and he has put a modern spin, a contemporary spin on several paintings from the 16 to the 1800s uh, at the AGO. And basically what he did is he threw things in the background like contemporary uh, modern images. He threw in there backgrounds from Toronto, he threw in there uh, cultural references, and that kind of thing. And really, this is not a game. This is not, not a game at all. Basically, it is an augmented reality uh, exhibit at the art gallery. And really, the reason why I'm talking about this, and the reason why I'm showing it, because I'm not going to do any commentary on it, this is, this is not going to be any kind of critique on it or anything like that. It's really just to get people thinking about different ways they can utilize Unity. I'm a really big Unity fan, and Unity is really, really big as far as AR is concerned. If you guys are interested in it, here's an opportunity. Here's something you can consider doing on your own time. Guys, it's a really, really fantastic exhibit. If you live in Toronto, take a few minutes, go down, watch it, look at it, have fun. All right, guys, let's take a look at it right now.
I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a fantastic exhibit. I really only got to see a handful of the paintings. I actually missed one painting entirely. I'm going to have to head back down to the gallery to see it. Uh, and I only showed you about half the paintings that were done here. There's a whole bunch of other paintings in there that I've missed. There's a, and there's a lot of subtext. If you go in there and you look at these paintings closely, there's a lot of subtext that are involved here. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. Really, all I'm trying to do is get you guys thinking in different ways, in alternate ways, in different ways that you can utilize Unity. It doesn't necessarily have to be used for games. All right, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below, and if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.